we've just got a little problem that she's keeping one eye closed. It's so bizarre. That was not what I wanted to hear. Can she even see out of that eye? Okay, Ella, why are you so sad? Are you happy, Elsie? Oh, I can't believe it. Our little baby born twins, Ella, she has a purple bracelet, and Elsie, she has the pink bracelet, are now four months old. You girls are getting so big. For some reason, Ella just seems kind of sad, and I think I've pointed this out before, but we've just been noticing that she's keeping one eye closed. It's so bizarre. I might have to call Dr. Tulip about that, but for right now, let's just go play with the little toys you girls wake up. Sometimes it's just nice to wake up slowly with a little activity. So I have a new something for the twins I wanna share with them and with you. It's kind of nice now that they can kind of be propped up. They can't, of course, sit yet because they're only four months old, but they can kind of be propped up and enjoy looking around at their surroundings. So let me show you their little activity. This is called an object permanence box. Are you excited, twins? I'll show you how it works. So you put it here in this hole, and it comes out through here. I'll show you. I know that probably doesn't seem like a big deal to you, but, but babies are so intrigued by that and it won't be long before their little hands will be able to push the ball into the hole. And they'll do it again and again. Well, at least little Elsie likes it. But why are you still sad, Ella? You know what, look at that eye. It's closed again. You know what? I wonder if that's affecting how she's feeling if she's only seeing out of one eye. <sighs> what should I do? I wonder if I should call Dr. Tula. I just, I just wonder what he'll say about this type of condition. Hello, Dr. Tula. This is Renee. We've just got a little problem. Poor Ella can only open one eye really this morning. And she's just pretty fussy. I know, it's so weird. Poor little girl. No, really? No way. You're completely booked. Oh dear. Well, she's moving around just fine, but she's just not opening that eye. Really? <sighs> Poor Ella. She's still not opening that eye. Well, that was not what I wanted to hear. Dr. Tulip said that their office is completely booked. So, unless I wanted to go to the emergency room, I don't think there's a way for little Ella to see a doctor today. But he did say that he could send a little package with some instructions on maybe how to help her in the meantime before we can get into an appointment with him. Oh, that's the doorbell. I wonder if that's the package from Dr. Tula. Come on, come on. Oh, Elsie, you want to go too, don't you? Okay, well, let's go see if that's Dr. Tula's package. is this? What? Babies, Ella, is this your bag from Dr. Tulip? Let's take it in and take a peek. Oh, it's very heavy. I can't imagine what Dr. Tulip would send to us in a bag like this. I think the babies are just as excited as I am about this. Okay, let's see. I'm guessing. 
Oh my goodness. It's a false alarm. There's a note. From Granny Pumpkin. Now, do you remember Granny Pumpkin? She's just always been really special to our family. Anyway, look what she just sent us. Well, the babies are, whoops, reaching for it. It's, can you tell? It's a whole bag of chocolate. Now, Granny Pumpkin knows what our family likes. We love chocolate. Ooh, these look so good. Mmm. Now, unfortunately, the babies can't have them, but that's okay. They don't really seem to mind. They just like their bottles. But Ella, are you still feeling sad? It's okay, baby. She's opening both eyes for just a minute, but then see, she just shuts them. Poor girl. Oh, that's the doorbell. I wonder if that's the package from Dr. Tulip that we've been waiting for. Come on, let's go see. Come on, babies, let's go see. another brown paper bag. I wonder if this is from Granny Pumpkin again? Let's go check it out. The babies are so curious of what's in this bag. Let's see. Is this from Dr. Tulip or not? Oh. I better go sit down and look at this. This looks pretty important. Okay, so in this bag is a note. And let's see what this says. It says, from Dr. Tula. So it is, Alan, this is I think for you. And in here are markers. Why markers? And a couple of bandages. And let me read the note. From Dr. Tulip to Renee for Ella. Please begin using eye patches immediately. Oh, sweet Ella. This will be so different for her. Okay, I'm not exactly sure how to do this, but I have instructions here, so let's get started immediately like he said. I'm gonna just prop baby born to an Elsie here for moral support and lay little Ella here. So this is the eye that she closes and this is the one that she leaves open. It's okay, Ella. And I'm supposed to patch this eye so it forces this eye to work. So let's get started. Okay, so we've got the bandage here. I'm curious to see what color this is and what it looks like. Oh, it's just brown, but it's, but it's rather large. Okay, so I'm gonna just take this off, not touching this part, because that needs to stay clean, just like if you had a cut. And then we're going to patch the, oh, don't cry, sweetie. Don't cry, it's okay. You can, you'll be fine. We're just wanting to help you so you can see. Poor Ella. Oh, but she is opening this eye now a little bit. Does that, can you see out of that eye? I'm just wondering, can she even see out of that eye? I'm guessing she can. Maybe we should test that here in just a minute. Let me see the rest of Dr. Tulip's instructions for her. Oh, how cute. He included the marker so that we could draw a little design on her patch. Hmm, what would you draw? And then I think we do need a test if she can see it at the site. In fact, his little note suggested that we do that. So let's do, I don't even know what to draw. Um, let's draw, let's draw a sun. That'll be nice and cheery for us to look at. It's okay, she does seem pretty content right here. She's getting sleepy. It's about her nap time, so she'll probably let me draw just fine. And maybe next time I should do the drawing before I put the patch on her eye. But I think she, I think since she's calm, this will be just fine. There, what do you think about that? I think Elsie likes it so much she almost wish she had a fancy thing too. I'll have to be careful that Elsie doesn't pull this off. But look who woke up while I was doing that. Little Ella. 
I think she looks so good in her little patch and honestly I think Elsie's going to want to have one too. Dr. Tulip only sent two patches so I'll have to save this one for Ella since it needs to be changed often but um, maybe Dr. Tulip will give us more or whatever. He did say on his note that I'm supposed to call next week to make an appointment so that he can do an exam. But in the meantime, hopefully that will just strengthen this weak eye. But we've got to test to see, can she even see out of that eye? I think I'm going to bring out our object permanence box again. And our baby born twins. Do you want to watch me do the ball in the object permanence box? Let's see. Oh, it does seem like she's moving her head over that way. Let's see if she watches. See? Oh, she did turn her head that way. Well, that is great news. I think this eye can still see. So even though it's weak, hopefully it will just get strengthened and then we'll have to call Dr. Tulip for an exam. Now, this is not the first time that Ella has had a little problem and we've had to call Dr. Tulip. If you want to see the time that um, she needed laser surgery in her mouth. So how exactly will this laser surgery work, Dr. Tulip? How is the temperature? Oh, no. Unfortunately, we have to take them back to the operating room. Do you think they'll be okay? Hi, babies. <laughs> That's my thumb. Hello? Oh dear. That's right, Mom. Okay, we'll be right there. Who was that? That was Mom. It's almost time for the twins to have surgery. Oh, poor little twins. Poor oh. little twins. Well, that's not a good way to start. <laughs> it's okay, Tins will take Oh, someone lost their husband. It's okay, Tins. It's okay, Tins. Love you. Okay, let's go see Mom. That was such a nice walk. Did you all have a good walk? Oh, little Elsie. Girls, thanks for bringing them. Back in time for their appointments. I just, I'm sure that fresh air will be so good for them. This is such a big day for them. Their first surgery on their tongue and lip ties. Thanks girls for giving them a walk. It's a great start to this challenging day. No, okay, come here, little Ella. Okay, well, you girls have a wonderful day at school, and I'll see you later. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, this is the start of our big day of laser surgery for the baby born twins. Well, it's time for those baby born twins surgery. Elsie, Ella. Oh, that's us, oh little twins. Oh, I'm so nervous. Oh, it's the time for your laser surgery. Sweet twins. 
Hello, Elsie and Ella. It's your big day. Oh, I know, Dr. Tulip. It is. I think that they're doing okay. They just went on a nice walk with Christy and Toria, but I'm the one that's so nervous. Do you think they'll be okay? Well, they do have pretty big lip and tongue ties. They're some of the biggest I've ever seen. But we have a really good success rate. Hopefully this laser surgery will help them for the rest of their lives. I sure hope so, Dr. Tulip. They've really been struggling, and as you can see, they really haven't gotten any bigger since our last checkup with you. Yes, I can see that. But don't worry. As soon as we're done with this, I think they'll start gaining weight normally. Now, remind me, which is which? Oh yes, this is Ella. She has the purple bracelet. And Elsie's has a pink bracelet. It's hidden by her Ella little sleeve. and Elsie. Yes, Ella and Elsie. And they're just new. We, we just picked them up from the hospital. And we're hoping to be able to adopt them. Okay, well let me just make sure their heart sounds good before we do any medical procedure this morning. Okay, yes, we want to make sure that everything's okay. They're so little. So, how exactly will this laser surgery work, Dr. Tula? Well, you can see, I have this swaddle laid down on the table. First, we're going to strap them down in the swaddles so they can't get out or move. <clears throat> it really is nice that they're sleeping. Yes, they do sleep a lot right now, Dr. Tulip. <clears throat> Hope they'll be okay. Now, of course, they they could cry, and and they probably will, but it won't take very long. It'll be over soon. Now, before I take them back, I need to go over a couple of things with you, Mrs. Kelly. Okay. Do you mind if I hold them one last time while you talk about that? Well, no, that's fine. Go right ahead. Okay, Dr. Tulip, so yes, it would. I think it would help me a lot to know what they're going to go through. Well, okay, so we have them all swaddled up here. Yes. And that way they can't move around. That way they'll be more still and we'll, it'll be easier for us to do the procedures on them. One thing that could help, do you mind if I put some numbing gel on them? Oh, so that they can't feel it? The pain is bad? Yes. Of course. Yeah, that will just help them stay more still okay. for the procedure. So with the laser surgery, just I'm so sorry, I'm having a hard time getting my words out. I just feel a little nervous right now. But I was wondering, is the procedure just going to happen on your table here? Oh, no. Unfortunately, we have to take them back to the operating room. Oh, really? Oh, sweet babies. Okay, and so what happens in the operating room? Well, let me show you. We're going to use this special device to do the laser surgery. Okay, well, is there anything else I need to know? Well, they'll probably come out crying. Oh, okay. For just a little while, they'll have a tough time eating. Okay, because it'll be sore in their mouth. Yes, that's right. Okay. Oh, and I do need to show you, these are some tablets that will help oh, them with the pain. Okay, so I just swelling. administer this to them? Yes. After we get done, every four hours you can give those to them for the first two or three days. Okay. Okay, good. Okay, so I'll make sure to do this every four hours. Yes, and one more thing. After we do the surgery and you take them home, when you give them these tablets every four hours, you can put that glove on to gently massage their mouth like we did last time and that will help stretch it out and make sure that it heals properly and so that the skin doesn't reattach. Okay, so stretching wounds. Oh, that sounds terrible. Okay, and then giving them tablets. Yes, and if you notice any signs of infection, fever, the swelling is going up more, anything like that, just call our office and we'll help you out. Okay, okay. 
Well, I think it's time to go do the surgery now. Okay. Oh, Dr. Tool, thank you. And we have a special room for mothers in the back so they can't hear the crying. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, this is where the mothers can be during surgeries if you want to be in here. Okay. Okay, so I'll just wait in here. Yeah, we'll just bring the babies to you when we're done. And, and honestly, a lot of moms like to turn on this fan to drown out the noise. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I'm going to just put my earbuds in and listen to some happy praise music. That sounds great. I know they're in good hands. Bye, babies. Bye, babies. Oh dear, I'm feeling just a little bit nervous. Okay, I'm gonna put my earbuds in and listen to some praise music. I hope those babies are okay. There's just nothing else for me to do but wait. I just don't wanna hear them cry. I do wonder what's going on over there in the operating room. Okay, assistants. It's our first tongue and lip tie surgery of the day. Let's go ahead and get ready. Okay, it's ready for them. Well, this isn't the best start to the twin surgery, but let's go ahead and get it set up again. <laughs> Here, I'll give you a hand. There we go. So let's go ahead and take their headbands off. How is the temperature? Well, it looks good for the surgery. Hers looks good too. Nurse 2, can you administer the numbing paste? And here are the numbing tablets. We'll go ahead and give them each one of those. Well, it's time to begin. hard when you know your baby is going through so much. I know Dr. Tulip though is such a great doctor. I hope everything is turning out okay and ultimately I hope that the baby born's ties are taken care of and that they'll start eating better. Okay, I think we severed all those ties. Boy, those were thick. I know, I don't think I have seen them that big. Oh, that's true. I'm glad we were able to get that taken care of. Yeah. They really needed that. Shh, shh, shh. It's okay, babies. Shh, 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 shh. Okay, let's go get you back to your mama. They had very, very thick tongue and lip ties. But the good news is we were able to get them taken care of and we won't have to do another surgery for them. Now, this is not the first time that Dr. Tulip was able to help baby twins. If you would like to see the time that he 
help them, even though Dr. Fraud was trying to get in the way of his help? Click the video in the description below, and I'll see you there, right now.